Divya and I are just here in this uh, public car park of the Central Square Shopping Centre and what we're about to do is suit up into our PPE and we're about to use qPCR swabbing to test some high touch areas of this shopping centre, all the public areas and we're going to see whether or not we can actually detect the SARS-CoV-2 virus on any of these surfaces. So. We have uh, been driving around the car park for about 15 minutes and we found five locations that we think are suitable to test. So I guess uh, to begin with, we're going to do the door handles of a fitness center. We're going to be doing the shopping trolley handles. We're going to be doing an ATM machine, the push buttons of the ATM machine. And what else is on that list? Ah, yes, the um, public benches uh, where people are uh, waiting to be either p uh, picked up or collected or for public transport. And we are also then going to use one of the public restrooms, which is open. And we're going to do some of the high touch surfaces there. We'll see what we find out and then we'll go back to the lab yeah, and okay. uh, analyze it. We're now going to do the uh, benches. Now I'm going to go inside to swab the public restrooms and see what we determine in here. So I think I'll do some high touch areas. Okay. We're now going to test out the ATM machine. Now, if you leave everything with me, I think I could. Did I go? Yep.
that's how they're going to get, that's, that's, how, that's how the whole country's going to get. In six months' time, the country's going to close down again. Yeah, well, the way people have got going about it, that's how it's going, they found more and more and more now. It's never going to end. Yep. What's that for? Testing for surfaces for the SARS-CoV-2 virus on surfaces like the ATM machine Have buttons. You found any? We can't tell yet, we're here doing a surveillance of it out in the environment. People don't care. They're not taking notice of everything, what's, ha what's happening around the world. It's true. I'll give it six months and it'll probably do it. These are the samples which we collected today from the different sites at the public spots and uh, now we have finally prepared our PCR mixture uh, that we will run in the PCR now. Now you're probably wondering what our results showed. Well, we're here to tell you. Now here are the results for the Centre Square shop yesterday. And you can see that the various graphs and curves and on the right hand side here are all the samples that we took. And you will see that even with five samples, the benches detected SARS-CoV-2. And here is the graph. And that means that out of the five samples, one of them had residue of SARS-CoV-2. Now, that's 20% of the samples we collected yesterday returned residue of SARS-CoV-2. Now, I wonder what your public space or workplace or home environment is showing. Now, the SARS-CoV-2 virus is very serious. The numbers in Victoria are going up daily. I think that this short experiment that we did yesterday demonstrates that the prevalence of the RNA for the virus in the natural environment is very high. And our lab is certainly in a position to analyze your samples. So please reach out and make contact with us and uh, we'll be happy to help you out. I think the importance of testing for SARS-CoV-2 in the environment is really to validate the cleaning protocols that you individually adopt to make a COVID safe workplace. And that can't be underestimated. Testing is very important for people, but as we've shown with this short little experiment, it's very important to test the environment as well. That way you can then focus cleaning effort on those areas in the event that they fail. Anyway, talk to you later. Bye for now.